Today I'm going to talk about what's new with your My Player in 2K21 Next Gen. First things first, no more pie charts. We've taken in a lot of community feedback and given you more customization and options in the My Player Builder. A lot of thought and redesign went into badges for Next Gen. Many favorites return, some have undergone some functional changes, and there are a lot of new ones added too. We've also made some big changes to the takeover system. Instead of limiting players to just 8 general archetype based takeovers, we've broken those 8 into 24 specific takeover abilities. Takeover is now a multi-tier system. You choose a primary and a secondary takeover, and you can activate one or both if you choose to do so. In honor of Kobe, we've created the Mamba Mentality Badge that will unlock when you have all your badge points. That will allow you to change your takeovers whenever you want. And your AI teammates are going to play much smarter in Next Gen. Two of my favorite additions are the much improved switching logic on defense and the new Next Gen game planning feature, which allows you to run your offense exclusively through your best players. It's supposed to be a moment, what good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? YouTube! Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei. Make sure y'all subscribe if you new. Hit that goddamn like button, help a brother get recommended, and hit the damn bell. I don't know what to do, bro. Now look, listen up. We have now gotten the most exciting news for NBA 2K21 Next Gen, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all drop a like if y'all excited about this. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about it, man. It looks, it looks, it looks exciting, right? But you know, I gotta stay grounded. I gotta stay grounded. Because they, they got me in 18 hours. I, I swore an oath. To never be God again. But look, man. New My Player Builder. I thought they would never take out pie charts, right? I mean, from a business perspective. Didn't y'all think that? I thought they would never take out pie charts, bro. But I mean, now there's just... It, it's still the same thing. Which is... An, an, hold on, hold on. Another reason why, like, they could low-key transfer players and then just, like, let us edit the other stuff. But I, I don't know. Uh, we got 24 takeovers, a bunch of new badges, man. We're going to go in depth with all of this stuff. Mamba mentality badge. I guess that's the new ultimate take. I, I haven't even looked over this, right? I'm going to check this out. It look cool. Nigga, 24 takeover. It, it sounds crazy, nigga. Like, what, what is going on, my nigga? <laughs> what the hell? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. They're they're saying they took our our feedback. You know, they're they're trying to hint that oh, 16 stuff. But I don't I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's like that. I think it's still the same system because you're going to be restricted, right? Like you're not going to be able to have a a build that's going to have a 93 contact dunks, speed boosting, Hall of Fame ankles, and like be able to guard ball with hall of fame is it's not working like that so it's still restrictions so it's like the same thing you know it like think about it right it's it's the same except except the differences of you being able to have hall of fame badges in each category but like it's like the same thing look look you feel me it's like the so 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 i also so i guess i guess i guess like for instance based on what you upgrade in the attributes it says you can have it hall of fame certain badges you can have hall of fame or certain levels based on how you upgrade this so maybe yeah that's more pinpoint because then like if you're probably upgrading the center and then he could get some hall of fame badges he might not be able to get hall of fame quick first step and stuff like that which is nice Hopefully, it's pinpoint and nothing can really be broken. Um, I don't know. Like, then they got your physicals right here. Hold on. Nigga. <laughs> Hold on. 
Hold on, man. This might be restricted, my nigga. I don't know. I don't know, bro. So, so your points also with your physicals, too. Man, I know I'm going to be spending hours, bro. Don't worry, man. I'm going to help y'all out with all the best bills. So make sure you subscribe, my nigga, and like this video. I am the plug. This is crazy, bro. Man, people are going to be messing up their builds. Y'all better make sure you go to the right YouTuber, man. I got the best builds in the tube. Look at this. Man. <laughs> I'm gonna be spending hours. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch too, man. I'm gonna be helping y'all with uh badges live. And then we got the dual takeover thing, and there's like different like look reduces the impact of shot contesting. Like what the fuck? What if you really can't change this? Takeover abilities will determine how your my player will improve when heating up during a game. So probably when you select select. Like wanna bro, there's so many options, my nigga. That shit is crazy. Bruh, y'all niggas, bro, look, listen, 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 listen very closely. It's looking like you could really mess up your build. So I'm telling you, this channel is the one for you, bro. You don't wanna waste your money, bruh. I'ma be I'ma be showing y'all the best builds for what y'all actually wanna do on the court, bruh. Cause look, three different takeovers and then a secondary with like multiple. That is crazy. Look at that. Man, what the hell is this? Look at this. Provides a significant boost to well claim jump shot, take it off the dribble, pull up precision, ankle break increases the likelihood of dropping. I like that. I like how they split those. I like how they split those. Negative impact, that's like a dead high shit. I like that. So now niggas can't be too OP, hopefully. Extend your shooting range. See, look, they might be saying like, you know, y'all know 2K, bro. They be saying stuff is like, like split, but then like one can do everything. So there's no point of picking the others. So we just got to figure out which ones is, is really valid, bro. Provides a significant boost to well-timed and aimed. Ooh. Okay. This shit. Oh, man. Bruh. Hey. <laughs> hey, man. It, it's going to be difficult for you, Nick. Okay. They're saying in this little paragraph right here that some badges that were not vital in previous years may be vital this year. So test them out. And then the, here's some new and returning badges. Fearless Finisher. Boost contact layups. Decreases fatigue. Heat Seeker. Boost takeover progress on inside shots. Okay. Highlight film. Boost team takeover progress on flashy dunks. Okay. Hook specialist. Why? 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 There should be no post badges. Y'all drop a like if you agree. Revive posterizer, contact dunks. Oh, I need those. Rise up, boost the ability to do standing dunks in traffic. Uh, Anti-freeze, harder to get cold and lose takeover meter progress. Blinders, less affected by peripheral defenders when shooting jumpers. Nigga, what, 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 what? Nah, nah, I don't like those. Circus threes improve the ability to pull up and step back threes. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> I know, I know a lot of people gonna be using this badge. Fade ace boost all post man, bro. <sighs> they have to take off shot aiming, bro. I, I don't, I don't care how many of y'all niggas use that shit. People are cheating, okay? They're buying something that costs ten dollars and they're cheating. They're shooting perfect greens. It does not matter if you learned it and it makes shooting easier for you. It has to be removed out the game. You guys have to voice your opinion. Follow me on Twitter and tweet that to these niggas, bro. Every time they try to patch it, they come out with a new cheat. Stop. Get it out of here. Hot shot. Increase takeover meter faster when knocking down jumpers. Deep threes, Dame and Curry range three balls. Damn, 
They they comparing Dame with Curry? <laughs> Damn, I bet Curry don't like those. Rhythm shooter. Boost shot percents out of size ups as well as one step pull ups. So wait. It seemed like a lot of new badges, bro. So it seemed like you're not really going to be able to uh, get everything. I don't know. Or maybe they just changed names with shit. Sniper. Boost the ability to hit shots when using pro stick aiming. Why? Why? Oh, my God, bro. What is wrong with these niggas? Take it out the fucking game. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's up with niggas, bro. Stop and pop three for the JJ Reddicks want to pull up for threes in transition. Why JJ Reddick? There's a bunch of three point shooters better than him. What's up with the Ray Allen? Um, I don't know. Bullet passer gives you the ability to throw laser dots like LeBron. Relay passer boosts the shooter on pass to assist situation. Oh, so that's like a relaying dimer. God damn, I like those. Special delivery boost takeover progress for the passer and receiver off a of flashy pass. What? Ankle braces make it tougher for ball handers. Why? Ankles don't be working. Clutch defender boost your defensive rating in clutch moments. Hot stopper boost takeover meter for good defensive plays like steals, blah, 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 blah. Here's the badges that we retired because they were either redundant, didn't fit the new design, or communities didn't like them. Consistent finisher, contact finisher, what? what? Cross key score, fast break, deep hooks, and shun hand, deep phase, flexible release. No! I love flexible. Hey, they took out steady shooter, high start, pick and popper, pump fake, and a steady shooter, and a loud city passer, lightning reflexes. Man. Okay. I fucks with it. Ooh. They look nice. Ooh. What are these badges? What do y'all guess these badges are, man? What's that? Clutch shooter or something? Ankle brace? Maybe it's in order with how the boost takeover meter. I don't know, bro. Okay, so now there's like 24 takeovers and like different levels of when you're building your takeover meter. I don't know. I guess... <laughs> I guess when you start... It's just going to build, and you're on your normal shit, and then you get, like, one-fourth, and something activate, and then two-fourths, something activate, and I don't know, bro. But um, here's some of these takeovers. Advanced gathers and locked more effective spin, blah, 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 finishing. Bro, so many videos are going to be able to be made off of this shit. Finishing moves, able to absorb contact and finish at the rim. Easy blow-by, enhances ability, blah, blah, blah. Y'all let me know what takeover y'all would um pick, bruh. Pull-up precisions, boost well-timed aim shots off dribble, ankle breaker shots, more ankle breakers off a spin and step back jumpers. Negative impact reduces defensive impact against pull-ups and other skill shots. Limitless range extends your shooting range out of the logos. Spot up precision boost, well timed aim, stationary jump shots. <sighs> team rating boost, playmakers boost their teammates' offensive ratings. Team takeover boost, boost your teammates' takeover meter progress. Team badge boost, boost your teammates' badges up a tier. Man, they 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 they, they going crazy, my nigga. Extreme clamps, more stone wall. Loss and body as a perimeter badge drop knocks. Ooh, what, what badge was that? What badge was that they took out? Oh, I don't remember. Um, when you got close to people, they took their badges down. Someone's dropping in the comments, man. Make sure y'all like the video, man. Enhance jump shot contest, boost your ability to contest jumpers, stuff blocks, unlocks more swap blocks. Backboard pins and grab blocks, paint intimidation, boost your ability to affect shots around the rim. Mm. Interior badge drop drops the opposition scoring badges down in the paint. Man, box man, I know people are gonna abuse this right here. Like OD. Um, it's gonna be a real complaining issue. Um 
box out wall improves ability to seal off block man where's the pick dodger shit bro like shit why, why ain't there no takeover? You should just run through screens, nigga. Just man. how many of y'all would pick that as your takeover to be able to just run through screens? Like that would be like the first part of my takeover, my nigga. I would, I would, I would be toxic. See the future shows where he misses shots at glass clearing and dimes after rebounds, kick out passes, boost your teammates, shoot ins. Power back down is easier to push defenders around and post up. Man, why do they keep adding post shit? God damn. What's wrong with these niggas? Advanced post moves easier to beat defenders with post. Why? Who is a post scoring YouTuber? No one's a post scorer. Post shot. Like, what? Why do they keep doing this? <laughs> like, it does. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so basically there's a primary and secondary. You could double up like on 17. So basically when you reach your first takeover, you can either activate it or you can wait till you get to your second takeover and then activate that. So then you'll have double takeover. <clears throat> but they're saying be careful because then if, if you bad shot or whatever, you can lose some of your takeover and shit like that or lose all your progress if you turn over if you turn over the ball or miss a bad shot hmm miss a what, what kind of bad shot we got to test those and then if you do your secondary takeover they're both activated longer okay so now they're saying if you wait even longer it's the game's pretty much over so you'll probably have takeover for the whole game with how they're explaining it Sounds um, very aged. Hopefully that's hard to do. And things like Showtime and shit like that. It's not just crazy. Last thing I wanted to mention about TakeOver. We wanted to honor our late friend Kobe Bryant. Who we tragically lost way too early this year. When you've earned all your badge points. You will receive the Mamba Mentality Badge. Which allows you to change your TakeOvers whenever you want. What? So just like Kobe, you can vary up how you choose to take over one game to the next. Huh? So they're saying we could change our takeovers? Like how... So that's probably what Ronnie meant when he's saying we could change our takeovers. Remember that shit? He was saying we could change our takeovers from 1-2-K, but then they probably moved it to the next gen or some shit. And everyone said he was lying and shit like that. This is probably what it was, bro. They probably changed their mind or whatever. <laughs> so y'all went too hard on Ronnie, man. He was just doing his job. That's crazy. So you know how you make builds and then take over. That, that's cool, bro. I fuck with that if that's what that really means. Y'all let me know y'all's interpretation of it. Okay, and in closing, they basically say this is going to be the greatest basketball game to ever grace a console. So, hey, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button. Help a young nigga out. Hit that bell. Check out my other videos. They're hilarious. They're very informative. My last few videos have been gameplay, so check that out. And um, I'm out this whole. I dropped a Rage Taj on my second channel. So check that out. It's hilarious. And um, yeah, follow me on Twitter, Twitch. Adios.